Alright, so welcome to yet another tutorial. This time I'll be covering how to compress GameCube and Wii ISOs into RVZ files for use with both RetroArch and uh, Dolphin Standalone. Now to actually do this process, you do need to have Dolphin installed, so just Google Dolphin download and you'll no doubt come to the emulator page. So get that downloaded and once you get into it, now, once you like launch Dolphin, you need to go into your configs, set your path for where your games are located, and that's basically all you need to do. But in terms of the compression process, you right-click the game you want to compress, go to Convert File, and then basically click Convert. There is other formats like GCZ, uh, WIA, and RVZ. The program gives you a basic um, description of what each of the file formats actually does, but RVZ is by far the most efficient out of all of the different uh, choices. But in terms of like block size, compression, compression level, just leave that alone. Like changing any of these things might lead to performance issues. It's not guaranteed, but I would honestly just recommend leaving it as is. It gives you a good uh, space saving anyway, with no issues to performance, whereas changing the compression level or the block size might lead to perform performance issues. Once you do that, you click compress. Or once you've got everything set, you click compress. Set the directory you want to save it to, and in a couple of seconds, it will be converted. Now this does depend entirely on your PC. Like If you've not got the best PC, it might be a slower conversion time. But overall, it's only a couple of seconds, regardless. So there's Metroid Prime converted. And well, I'll just compress New Super Mario Bros. Wii. Doing the same. But the main reason you want to compress them is purely because they save a massive amount of space, especially when it comes to Wii games, because if we didn't compress New Super Mario Bros. Wii, it'd be a 4.5 gig file, whereas compressed, it's 240 megabytes, so it's a massive space saving. But there's no guarantee that every game will compress that much. Like, as you can see, Metroid Prime only compressed 260 megabytes, so it, it really is, like, not trial and error, it varies game to game. Very similar to CHD, like not every game is CHD compresses a buttload, but some do. But there you go, that's it. So that's the games compressed for both, or used with both, the RetroArch Dolphin Car and Dolphin Standalone. So that's going to be the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, be sure to like, subscribe, and until next time, take care.